UK trying to get back on the winning track today against its neighbor to the south, Eastern Kentucky University. But the Cats would have to do it without both Derek Locke and Randall Cobb. Cobb a no-go due to a sprained thumb. So the bulk of the carries going to Monsell Allen and Alfonso Smith. And it's the turtle hitting pay dirt first. Allen one-yard TD to put the Cats up early 7-0. And then it's 10-0 in the second quarter when the Colonels pull a fake field goal. Marcus Williams goes in for the TD. Extra point no good. 10-6 just before the half. Alfonso Smith goes 15 yards. He's ruled down at the one-yard line. That's okay. He'd go in a couple plays later to make it 17-6 UK at the half. Third quarter, Morgan Newton throws the first touchdown pass of his career, hitting Maurice Grinter for a 14-yard score, 24-6 Cats. Then on EKU's next possession, Sam Maxwell, his fourth interception of the season, Cats ball deep in Colonel's territory. First play from scrimmage following the turnover, Newton goes to Chris Matthews in the end zone, 30-6 to at this point. Kentucky wins 37-12 and improves to 5-4 and on the season and extends its streak of non-conference. Conference victories. I'm proud of this team uh, for bouncing back and doing something that has never been done in this school's history. Uh, and I know that uh, we need to do a better job in the SEC, but no other team over a period of time, and there have been some good teams in this institution's history, have been able to win 18 straight non-conference games. The Basketball Cats wrapped up the exhibition portion of their schedule with a win over Clarion last night. And everyone on the team has seen some playing time, except DeAndre Liggins. John Calipari was asked why. I'm going to talk about the guys I'm playing. And, and you know what? You guys understand, and if you get to know me, I'll never throw kids under the bus. I'll take responsibility myself. Um, I don't want to do anything that hurts a young person. Um, and so we'll, let's just let's talk about these guys that played. Let's go back to football. Georgetown College hosting 9-0 Lambeth. Less than a minute to go before the half. Lambeth up 14-3, but looking for more. That's a mistake because the Tigers' Jake Connor is there for the interception. Big opportunity here for Georgetown. And Alex Matthews going to Chris Goman gets Georgetown in a scoring position, but only five seconds left in the half. Kick the field goal or go for six. Tigers go for the TD. Matthews to Adam Schmitz. He gets in just as the halftime horn sounds. Tigers cut the lead to 14-10, but cannot carry the momentum into the second half and lose 35-17. <laughs> Back to the Cats and the Colonels. Freshman running back Donald Russell breaks one up the middle. He's got room. 79-yard TD. Russell winds up leading the Cats in rushing today with 92 yards. 79 of them right there. Russell's dash to daylight makes the Jack King forward play of the day.